what you don't know about cholesterol. It's Sarah Banta with Accelerated Health TV and Radio Show. And we've talked about cholesterol, right? Do you take a statin? How do you lower your cholesterol? Well, all cholesterol isn't the same. In general, you have to think about the bad cholesterol, LDL, as the fireman going to the fire to put the fire out, right? It is not the fireman who starts the fire. It's the sugar and the carbs that cause the high bad cholesterol. And that bad cholesterol, according to doctors, is LDL. And the good cholesterol that we're supposed to increase is that HDL. So we've been focusing on HDL and LDL. Well, there's a third type that's totally based on genetics that doctors are talking about and it is in the news. And that is lipoprotein A or LP little a. And this is LDL's evil cousin. It is inflammatory. It gets into the arterial wall. It causes blood cl clotting and it's causing a lot of heart disease and people don't even know it. Millions of Americans are born genetically predisposed to extremely high levels of this type of cholesterol that cause deadly heart attacks and strokes by middle age. And there's almost no awareness of their risk. It's not being tested. The cholesterol is called lipoprotein little a. Like low density lipoprotein LDL or the bad cholesterol it leads to plaque buildup in the arteries. But LP little a has a secondary nasty little trick that makes it even more dangerous. It causes those blood clots and we're hearing a lot more about blood clots in the last three years. That spike protein is also making things worse. And unlike LDL, it's entirely genetic which means diet and exercise have no effect on that LP little a, unfortunately. The result is a high likelihood of life-threatening heart disease that runs in families, killing parents, aunts, uncles, siblings in their 40s and 50s. So what do we do about it? We can't do anything about it. They are trying to come out with medication for it, but right now there's no medication even in the Western uh, medicine. So what we can do is focus on increasing our good cholesterol or HDL and lowering what we can that LDL. And number one is that insulin resistance. Most of you are walking around with undiagnosed insulin resistance or prediabetes. And according to Robert Lustig, insulin resistance at the liver leads to type two diabetes. Insulin resistance at the heart leads to heart disease. So this is something we have to really focus on. And what happens is you're eating sugar, you're eating carbs, you're eating those processed foods with all of those hidden sugars you don't even know are in there. And that insulin's job is to take the sugar out of the blood and put it in the cells. Well, you have so much sugar coming in, the pancreas is pumping out more and more insulin and it's it says, I give up. I don't want to do it anymore. Well, as a result, you are going to get fatty liver disease, a backed up liver. You're going to get that heart disease, that increase in HD in, in um, LDL, right? And you're going to get lower levels of the HDL. So poor liver health causes heart health. They are one in the same, right? Liver health is closely connected to the heart because there's that metabolism and fat processing. The liver plays a central role in metabolizing fat. And an unhealthy liver may lead to that accumulation of fat in the liver, which is the number one fastest growing disease in the United States. We talked about it last week, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, increases inflammation, increases cholesterol level. That cholesterol, that all happens in the liver. And cholesterol levels, triglyceride levels, are increasing just on its own from the spike protein away from the foods that we're eating. So add in the spike protein, the increase in processed foods and sugar, and that cholesterol level is going to increase. So the liver also produces proteins involved in blood clotting and liver disease can affect the production of these clotting factors. So you've got to focus on your liver as well. That spike protein, like I said, has increased um, that risk of heart attack and stroke because it is increasing triglycerides and that fatty liver and increasing inflammatory signal pro proteins such as interleukin-1 beta and interleukin-6. 
These cytokines were involved in promoting a persistent immune response. And that isn't just from the spike protein, away from what we're eating and what we're doing. So what do we do about it? Well, there are three keys to lowering your insulin resistance and doing what we can for our cholesterol away from the LP little a that is genetic. Number one is the accelerated keto. And this is part of the Ascent Diet Cleanse, but it will stop the cravings for the foods that increase insulin resistance and cause heart health decline, including those carbs, processed foods, and sugar. It flips you into ketosis, so your body's going, I don't need to eat. I've got thousands of calories on my body to burn. Let's burn those fat stores. And it also is enhanced with scalar frequencies to decrease that fatty liver, go after that fatty liver and turn that saturated fat in your liver into unsaturated fat that can actually be burned much more easily. The carbs are what are leading to clogged arteries and clogged liver, which puts pressure on the heart. So the accelerated keto is defatting the liver, improving liver function, insulin resistance, reducing fatty liver. Now, do you follow that up with a high fat, high saturated fat diet? I'm seeing that most people, because of their backed up livers, cannot metabolize fat very well. So I promote a wild, leaner protein diet. You prioritize that wild protein. Then when you do after, with the accelerated keto, you do the accelerated liver flush cleanse, you get all of those stones out, you reset your liver enzymes, you get rid of some of the triglycerides and the cholesterol, then maybe you can add in a higher fat diet. But the liver flush is going to flush those gallstones and liver stones out of the body to help that liver function improve, improve your heart health. It will lower your AST and ALT liver enzymes, replace those damaged liver cells with the healthy ones, eliminate all those toxins. Remember, we've got the GMOs, the radiation, um, all of the foods that are not organic that we're getting exposed to, the stuff in the air, the fluoride, the bromide, the chlorine in our water. All of that is backing up the liver. The liver's got to get some help from us. And so you've got the accelerated keto, the accelerated liver flush. And lastly, the nitric oxide lozenges. These are amazing. Nitric oxide is, po is potent in vasculating um, the whole body, helping with circulation, keeping the arteries open and clean from plaque buildup. And it helps with performance, athletic performance. I put a lozenge in my tongue as I'm starting my workout and I feel this boost of circulation and performance. So it increases the production of nitric oxide, enhances the supply of oxygen and nutrients to the cells. So those are the three that I, I promote to help with your heart health, help with your cholesterol, and take control of what you can do. Incorporate intermittent fasting. That will help reduce the inflammation and support ketosis, which will help with the heart health and take pressure off the gallbladder and liver. And focus on that wild animal protein and then fill in with the whole carbs, the whole foods, like the, the spaghetti squashes, the zucchinis, those things that support hormones and support a low carb diet, eliminate the seed oils that are inflammatory and so bad for our heart health. And, and then you want to move your body, right? At least walk, lift some heavy weights, and that is going to help raise your HDL and lower your LDL. Thank you. Hopefully this was helpful. If I can help you with your health issues, contact me through the website, sarahbantalf.com. Happy to put together a protocol for you and join the free group coaching on Telegram with the link below. There is no downside. I teach you on a daily basis with tips and tools to enhance your health, and you'll be a part of a great like-minded group to support you on your journey in addition to, to uh, taking control of your health. My goal, I need your help, is to reach everyone on earth with eyes to see and ears to hear my message of healing. So help me with that goal. Share this podcast with a few of our friends who may need my help. Join us every week, Mondays at 2 p.m. live Pacific and Tuesdays at 1 p.m. Pacific. And you can find all the supplements we talked about at sarahbantahealth.com. Use coupon Welcome 10 for 10% off site-wide. Thanks again for joining us here and have a great week.